Good morning, fellow viewers. Today, I would like to talk about uh, some interesting news from Ubisoft Company. It is their 30th anniversary, and they are providing some free games once per month until December, which started out on June, which the first game was Prince of Persia Sands of Time. And then the upcoming one will be on the 17th of July. That will be Splinter Cell, the original first part. Both games I've played before, they're franchise and everything, every single episode I've played and they're very great game and it's good to have some a digital copy of it, even though I've already owned the DVD of the game. What I would like to talk about here is my wish list for what other possible free games may be able to be provided. Right now, from based on what we've seen so far, it appears to be like they're giving out the first part of a franchise then maybe giving people a free demo to consider purchasing the rest of it. So that clearly do not give way to too many things that I may like from the Ubisoft games available. But from what I can think of is in, let's see, for Assassin's Creed, having a, the first part of the game is not really quite interesting so for the Assassin's Creed franchise having the first part isn't that much tempting for me I've already got the digital copy of it so unless there's a remaster of HD improvement to it there's no point of getting it again the only games I'm interested in that franchise would be AC Bloodlines, Altair's Chronicles and the three Chronicle game. Those are the only ones that I haven't purchased yet. Well, except for the China one. I already got that one. Just haven't touched it yet. Clearly, Splinter Cell won't be giving out anything new other than the one that they've already given out. But I just would like to share a small view about it. Is that the series, I love the series, is my favorite third person shooter because it's the only PC game that enables such ability to win the whole mission with nearly taking no one out, either killing or knocking them unconscious. But people will say, what about Metal Gear? But the thing is, Metal Gear is not much available on PC, which I'm only playing on, so that doesn't reach to my top 5 as a playable game. But what I would like to say about that series is it could use some great remastering. The story is great and everything. It's just the gameplay and everything that makes it kind of awkward to play. So it would be nice to have like the first part to everything with using maybe Blacklist Engine or something. And especially for Double Agent, that one needs a lot of improvement due to all tons of bugs over there. Some things, when I play through it, I cannot go to certain areas, I can't get some things, and I can't even get the ending. I finished the game, did everything, you can see my playthrough, and I just got stuck there and, the, well, you can't see what the, the supposedly SWAT teams or anything come busting into the area. All I see is the rooftop, and then that's it. Okay, so next franchise in line would be Far Cry. I'm not much of a fan of that game, but only three games stand out from it is Part 3, Part 4, and Primal. Those are the only three games that I might consider playing Far Cry on. But somehow I don't think they're going to give that out for free. Because they're still quite new, and I'm clearly not interested in the first part. I've tried before, and not really interesting at this time and don't have the time for that. Another game that I might cons would like to see would be like The Other Prince of Persia. Not the trilogy one, the one with only one part, which is a different story. That's one game I wouldn't mind having to give it a shot. Then other games, only two more left on my list would be Beyond Good and Evil. And the last one would be Chessmaster 10th Edition. Since it's providing like some kind of animation gameplay of the chess, which is quite good, rather than just mere basic pieces of, on the board moving around. 
other than that, I've checked through all the list of Ubisoft games. I'm not really that much interested in the rest. Heroes of Mind Magic and everything is not my cup of tea. But I do know some friends in back home, they're quite interested in it. Then other things like Settlers, I got the Heritage of Kings, but never get myself to play more than a quarter way of it. It's a very complicated game. Other than that, uh, there's not much campaign story games available that's not interesting enough to invest my time on it. So there you have it, that's my list of Ubisoft games that I would like to available in the free games in the coming next few months. Well, let's wait and see what we're going to be available anyway. And thank you for watching this video and feel free to write down in the comments below the games that you are hoping will be available in the Ubisoft free giveaways in the next few months. Thank you and goodbye.